Hello Blood Bowl fans, let's have a look at our latest poll results then. And first thing I need to say, this is the first time I'm recording since becoming a husband. So I'm now officially married and I'm speaking for the first time after it. Uh, it doesn't feel any different for anybody who wants to ask me that question, I still feel exactly the same as I did before. Anyway, let's have a look at these votes that you've cast recently, and at the same time let's have a look at the teams that are going into Steel Season 7, as that is kicked off today. First of all, I want to have a talk about the co-hosts I set forward as potential guys that I can do collaborations with. The votes were pretty evenly split. Uh, there were two votes apiece for Chris J, Urban Zorro, Squiggy, and Fallen Glory. So those are going to be the guys that I am prioritizing getting in contact with to do some collabs. And there was also one vote for Full Metal, so he's going to be less of a priority than the other four, but I'll try and get all five names on the show at some point. Somebody also said a different co-host, but they didn't provide a name, so it sucks. I can't really do much with that information, sorry. If I ask you to provide information, please do provide information. It really, really helps. That's it for the first vote, then. That was a nice and easy one. The co-hosts I want to get on, so let's remove that from the channel when I'm talking. Next up was live play, and I just want to say very quickly, in the background here you can see my bronze team from the last season of Steel. They are continuing in bronze, the Prince of Hell. I'll just put them up in the background. The second vote was to asking me to show some live play. Live play isn't really an option for me at the moment, I don't have a lot of free time, and my wife now is always around, so it's pretty difficult for me to go live. However, when she gets back to work, which will hopefully be in the next couple of weeks, then I will be able to go live occasionally. And the things that you asked me for specifically, of course, were more Blood Bowl matches, specifically in the ICBBL. And you also asked for Total War Warhammer. So I'm going to try and get both of them out when I go back live. There's no immediate plan for that, but hopefully there will be some future plans. After that, there was a small vote for Mordheim, so I may do Mordheim occasionally as well. At the moment, I'm going to keep Total War to the weekends, though, and Blood Bowl to the week. More time, we'll have a look at uh, at a later time when I'm looking to add more content, basically. So let's move that one from there as well. And let's have a quick look at the team. Uh, let's move to statistics now. Still the bronze team, don't forget. The next vote was, what would you like me to do with the invitational analysis? Because you all voted for seeing more of that. Well, seeing that in the first place. So I gave you a couple of options. The vote surprised me a little bit, actually though never mind, we have what we have. The most common vote was including an opponent, and I put this idea that I had no idea how to do, and now you've all voted for it, I'm pretty annoyed at myself for putting it in the first place, get a group. I really, really doubt that that's going to happen anytime soon, but I'll think about how to implement these two types of commentaries, including the opponent in the commentary, and getting a group of people to commentate on the game, maybe not including myself, to get a few guys to basically have a whale of a time talking about myself and my opponent. Or maybe try and incorporate both at the same time, so have myself, an opponent, and a panel of the experts, if you like. There was also a vote for ICBBL vets, but you didn't tell me which veterans you wanted to hear, so I'm going to let that go. There was one vote for rebel vets, same problem, you didn't tell me who. And there was one vote for a rookie feedback, so I may look into the rookie one in the future as well. That could be kind of interesting, actually, I think. And that's it for that vote, so let's remove that one. Next up, the Blood Bowl tactics. I asked you what you want to see in terms of tactics, and I'm kind of glad that you voted for everything, actually, between you, so that's good news. The things that people wanted more than anything was a positional tutorial, which I'm really looking forward to making, actually, and complex concepts, which surprised me a little bit, but you don't want the basic concepts as much as you want to see the really complex things in-game, so they're going to be quite difficult to do, and I'll think about how to do them, but they'll be coming later on, maybe alongside the race breakdowns, or maybe they'll follow on after the race breakdowns, as at the moment I'm currently about halfway through the race breakdowns, I think. And following on from that, you wanted to see a skill rundown, which I had planned anyway, but I just wanted to gauge the interest at the same time. Basically, as soon as I have a piece with mutation access that levels up and gets a double, I'll be having a look at the skill rundown, or until the next legendary beta, depending on what comes first. 
Uh, either way, I will be looking at the skills when I get a chance. Uh, at the moment, I haven't had the level up, so I haven't been able to look at it. And then, going from fine to good, which is um, something that I put there as kind of a Hail Mary. I, I wasn't really sure what to do with that, but I put it there to see if there was interest, and there was a surprising amount of interest. I don't really know if I'm qualified to make a fine coach a good coach, but I'll think of some things I can use to help people get to that stage. Then there are a couple of votes for basic concepts, a couple of votes for game basics, and one vote for the campaign. I think, in terms of the campaign, I'll play the main campaign in the Legendary Edition when it comes out, as opposed to the campaign as it is at the moment, because the campaign as it is at the moment is pretty shit, to be honest. Uh, it's kind of nice, but it's kind of shit at the same time. So, that'll be that. In terms of future concept videos, And, 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 just sorry, I was just looking for my Steel Team, there we go. And Steel Team this season, because that started today as well, we got the Dark Elves, so there they are. I'll have a look at them properly in a moment. Next up, the vote was for challenge games. Uh, there was a surprising amount of people who wanted to see me do some challenges, so I put that, I put a couple of options out there. Nobody gave me some extra ones, unfortunately, so I'm stuck with the ideas I had myself. The overwhelming vote was for a big guy challenge. Now, one of the future votes now, one of the next votes coming up is going to be what you want me to do with a big guy. I'll give you a few options and you can vote on that. They'll probably go up today. I'll try and do it after this video, actually. Uh, you also wanted to see me pass every turn, so I may have a look at that in the future as well. The idea is I'll just go through, like, uh, I don't know, ten games trying to complete these missions. That kind of thing. Maybe with different races as well. And the last thing you asked for was two things, actually, with about two votes each, I think. There was a no rerolls team and a skill-specific team, for example, everything has piling on and leap. I've been, concept I've been concept testing the piling on and leap idea. It's quite fun, actually. Whenever I roll a normal and I can take one of these two options, I have to take them, and whenever I roll a double, I have to take one of these two skills, and it's been working pretty good. I, I, may, actually, I may actually do that with a team that you wouldn't normally see these animations on, just for a laugh. I'm thinking orcs, because, uh, well, leaping orcs are just hilarious, and pylon orcs are actually quite funny as well, and a pylon goblin is something something to behold. Really, really like it. So we're going to be looking at adding some votes for that as well in the near future. There's going to be a lot more votes again. It looks like it's going to be a weekly thing, this voting process. And the last vote, let's just move to the main screen here, the last vote was for other games that aren't Blood Bowl. The overwhelming majority voted for Total War Warhammer, which was not really a surprise, especially with Norska coming out. So what I'll do in regards to that, I'll put a vote for what you want to see. Uh, specific campaigns, quest battles, multiplayer fighting, etc, etc. There'll be that going up soon as well. There was a surprising amount of votes for XCOM 2 as well, so I'll have a look at getting some XCOM 2 out, but that's not going to happen for a couple of weeks at least. I'm surprised there was quite a lot of votes for Mordheim as well. I mean, I did make a video for Mordheim before, and nobody really watched it, so I'm surprised that people voted for it. And there are a couple of votes for a few other games. Uh, I'll keep them in a list kind of hidden somewhere on my computer, and I'll have a look at them in the future if I'm looking for more content. So that will be that. And that's basically it for the vote results. I said I'd post them, so I am posting them, and that's what we're going to see. I'm going to put some votes up today, so if you are part of my Discord, then have a look, cast your vote. If you're not part of my Discord, then join my Discord and cast a vote as well. That's all going up today, and I'll have a look at what I'm doing in the future. We're actually getting close to some proper answers now. And I have all this stuff listed, even though I've replaced, replaced, even though I've removed the old votes, because I do that as I go along. I still have all of them listed in a document, so I know exactly what you guys want to see, and I'm going to work to get that out there. Also, as the ICBBL Season 7 has just kicked off, and I'm finishing off my Lord of Luck of the Dice Season 1 as well, there is the game of choice for the ICBBL vote out as well, so please vote for that. Just tell me which one of the three games you would like to see. That's all for this one. Thank you very much. Have a great day, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye for now.